welcome to my office. Ja, Frani. <lacht> ja, hi, Doctor. So good to see you. Ja, ja Milka. <lacht> Do you ever drink alone? Does the Lord count as a person? No. Then yes. I love being a psychiatrist, yeah, and I listen to my patients, but... Hours and hours, and I love it. I love it. I love it. It's, yeah, it's my favorite thing. Oh, so... Too much coffee. <laughs> you ever drink to escape from reality? What you been doing? Who are you? I said, oh, I am good. Very good. So tell me, Herr Doctor. Yeah. Wait, wait. Eine Minute, no, yeah? Ah. <clears throat> A little bit, please a little bit more cream. Yeah, so Franny, so good to see you. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing here, Franny? I don't know, doctor. I'm really, you know, I mean, listen, I'm staying optimistic. I really am. Oh, yeah, you ever think maybe you are scared of feeling scared? Maybe just a little sprinkly poo of fear. <laughs> yeah, these pimples didn't get there all by themselves. Schulen sie es, sleeping, sleeping, and need more caffeine, more caffeine. I saw, yeah, what is this, is it, how are you paying for things? Is, you know, with the coronavirus, people are very, very, very worried. You worried? I'm trying to stay creative, like, woo, you really have it together. I'm worried. I need some more coffee. Coffee. I mean, there are always options, right? As a matter of fact, I received one of those letters that we all get. You know, the email promising me like millions. I think it was seventy-six million dollars. All I had to do was give him my private banking information, right? So I started imagining, what if I sent him all my banking information in return for seventy-six million dollars, <laughs> doctor? You're coming on my yacht. Oh my, so exciting. Mm, maybe if I look at you with my left eye, it'll be even more exciting to listen to Franny. I started thinking, what if I rewrote that story with a happy ending? Like, hello, I know it's a scam, but what if it, you know, I really was going to be awarded $76 million. <laughs> wow, Franny. But then... I looked at the email again and I noticed that his name was James Hitler. Hitler! Hill, Hill, Hill. I'm a child of Jewish Holocaust survivors. I mean, he could not have chosen a worse surname <laughs> to try to get me to, you know. Oh, Hill. Hill. People who don't know the history of the Western world. I can just imagine, like, he did a search on Google and, came, and saw, you know, for a popular name or a name that was searched a lot. A lot of people, I guess, search Hitler. And maybe he initially called himself, like, Gustav Hitler. And maybe one of his friends, who did know a little bit about world history, said to him, you know, I don't think using that name is going to be a very good idea. So the guy who wrote the email looking for money, who was calling himself Gustav Hitler, changed it from Gustav to James Hitler because he thought his friend was saying that his first name was going to be unpopular. Uh, James? Nein, it's nicht James. Yeah, it's uh, Hansel Hitler. I forgot and I need a little bit more coffee to remember. <laughs> Anyway, James Hitler never received my banking information and the medication I have you on. Oh, oh. <laughs> instead we put you on some nice cafe. I think I'm a little bit addicted. I want you to give up beer for a month. You got it, no deer for a month. Starting tomorrow, no beer for a month. What was that noise? I was saying, I love you. 
So I'll see you next time.